This is Jordan Tower with JT News. Make sure you smash that like button and hit that subscribe button. And let's just get right into it. Um, so we got 50 Cent. Of course, he's going at Wendy Williams. Wendy Williams does look a little, a little spooky in this photo. I'm going to be honest with you. It's, it's like, whoa. So he says, uh, watch out. You got a monster on your, <laughs> a monster on your shoulder. Wendy Williams looks kind of crazy sometimes. But uh, 50 Cent. He's a meanie. He's a bully. <laughs> so uh, then he also went in on Busta Rhymes and said, oh, what are you doing? Your arms are the size of my legs. What's going on here? Obviously alluding to a little, you know, a little juicing, a little extra stimulants for the uh, <laughs> for the working out. Um, you know, I guess Busta and him will go back and forth. Yeah, but 50 Cent knows how to, like, get people talking about him. Right before you drop something, obviously, power comes out tomorrow night. Um, you can't miss the ad. They're putting a lot of money into ads. I hope it's a good ending to the series. Then he also commented the other day about Fetty Wap. He really uh, champions Fetty Wap coming back. He says, you know, he didn't he didn't fall off. He had contractual issues, and it makes an artist not want to make music. But he also lost all of his momentum. You can't lose your momentum, even though you're in a bad contract. It's not, it's not worth it. So you know, Freddie Webb teased that no more games. October, I'm coming out. We'll see if I think. You know what? It really only takes one song. Freddie Webb just released Birthday, which did like five million views. Not too many, but it's gonna take more than one song for him to get back on and get back into everything. And it's not gonna have the same impact as a new song would with a new artist, you know? Like, what's this? It's like, oh, what's this guy? You know, people look at it differently now. Like, what's this guy got to offer? You already know how it goes, you know? So we'll have to see uh, if Fetty can come back. I think he can. You know, he just needs one hit record. I'm sure he's got hit records that he's recorded and haven't released, I think, maybe. I mean, I'm, I wanna give him that, you know, the benefit of the doubt. I wonder who the contract issue was with 300 or when 300, I think 300 got absorbed by Atlantic. You know, what, what happened? You know, Jack boy, who's Kodak blacks artist got released already. Um, he claims that the cops said we got Kodak and now we're going to get you. So he's claiming that they, uh, he was targeted and you know, that he was going to drop off football equipment for the youth, you know, I believe it. You know, the, the, the people do get targeted. It seemed, you know, they had a bunch of charges in there of him, you know, no license plate and stuff like that. It was like, eh, or no, loose license plate. That's what it was. They always have to have a reason to pull you over, but they can come up with that in two seconds. Then we got Kid Boo. Remember the kid who was a clone? Well, uh, he is out here. Talk, he was talking tough in Toronto. That saying people were scared to come out and talk to him. And uh, what in or confront him? Well, all of his jewelry got stolen. <laughs> That's what happened. Everything got taken from him. This guy, I can't name one song. Nobody can. But uh, he's just an industry plant. They pick some guy, try to make another little pump or somebody like that, you know. And that's what's going on here. There's a lot of that going on right now. Music is hard to pick and choose what you want to do. You know, it's like it's hard to pick something that you like now. There's too much just industry plants and they think they can force this stuff on you and it's 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 tough. It's tough out here for a listener. Um that's all I got for right now. I got another story but I want to do that in a minute. Uh give me an hour. I'll put up another one. I'll leave you a little throwback motivation right here. Uh, we all need to hear this. I listen to this stuff myself every once in a while. So uh, listen to this, and I'll check you guys in the next video. I appreciate you guys for watching. You know, just bear with me. Appreciate you. Welcome, guys. Welcome to another day of motivation. Now, in this talk, I'm going to be talking about how to be a winner, how to captivate people, and how to be magnetic to people. Like, how to attract people to you. How do you be a leader? Well, first and foremost, you have to know, and no matter whatever you're doing in life, that everything's gonna be okay. Everything's gonna work out. So you gotta put your best foot forward, risk it all, and just know that everything's gonna work out and everything's gonna be okay. 
You're not going to just fall on your feet. Sometimes you will, but it'll be okay. You just got to fight the fight and know that everything and have faith in yourself that everything will be okay. Next, be the way that you are and just be who you are. That's all that matters. Who you are matters more than what other people think. This is how you become yourself and become unique to others. If you're always following other people and worried about what other people think and you follow what they do because you're worried about being different, then you're not going to be unique and you're not going to be different than everybody. And then you're going to just be like the others. And then you're always never going to grow because you're always going to be wondering what they think about you. And that's not good. You have to be your own person with no fear and realize that everything's going to be okay. Even if they think ill of you or they don't like or they make fun of you, who cares? You are yourself. There's only one you. Don't be like everybody else and be a lemon. This is what leaders are. They believe in themselves and are who they are and don't care what other people think. Next up, have integrity and be honest. Don't lie at all. Don't leave doubt in people's minds. Even little white lies like you did this or you picked this up at the store when you didn't do it just and you tell people what you think they want to hear. You lose integrity when these white lies come to fruition, when people realize like this guy is lying all the time. They don't know when to trust you. You want people to trust you no matter what. Without a doubt, they can trust everything you say is 100%. You don't want to leave any doubt in anybody's mind. You don't want them to ever question you. A true leader, you lead and you, you realize that once you follow them, they are telling you the truth and that everything is going to be okay when you follow this person because they wouldn't lead you down the wrong path. And, and if they are, they're going to be honest with you about it. You have, you can't, you're hurting yourself. Even stop lying. If you ever tell, tell white lies, stop it today. Stop telling lies today because you're just hurting yourself. Okay. Next up, don't persuade people. Ask, ask once. And if they don't follow through, let it go. Cause when you start trying to convince people and persuade them, you seem needy. And when you seem needy, you seem desperate and people don't want to be around desperate people. They want, you just ask once and you move on and you go to the next, the next thing, keep it moving. Don't just keep trying to persuade people. They're going to be like, what, why is this guy want it? So you know, it's like, you so need it so bad. You seem so desperate that they just want to push you away. And this is a way to demagnetize and push people away from you. And you do not want to do that. And you, you don't spend an ounce of time convincing anybody. You ask them once and if they don't like it, let it go. Be confident in your purpose. When you walk into a room, and you know, people ask you what you're doing. Huh? What are you doing? Don't feel like you're just bragging. Be proud of what you're doing. Brag about it. Say, yeah, I'm going to do this and I'm doing this and I'm going to do this next week. People like that. You have a plan. You're about something. Don't think that you're just bragging. You know how when you like get into small chat with people and they're like, oh, yeah, I'm working on this with you. Be very confident and be very clear in what you're doing. Act like you have a plan. Okay. You have it all planned out. You have it all figured out. You have a set path you're on. You're going to do this and then you're going to do this and you're doing this or I'm doing this, this and this, and this is why I'm going to get to this. People like that. People are like, oh, this guy has it figured out or this guy has a blueprint in his mind of where he's going in life. That means a lot. That means a lot to people when you're in a group of people. Okay. And next. Be first, be a leader, be the first to volunteer, be the first to do everything. Like be the first to have an opinion, be the first to applaud somebody and doing a great job. Be the first leaders are always first. Be the first to jump out the plane when you're doing a skydive, everything. It applies to everything. Just be the first person. Don't hesitate. Lead the pack. This is a true leader. And then, and then where I started, I said, everything will be okay. Do all this and realize that it'll all be okay. It'll all work out. You are who you are. You don't have to follow the next person. You 
be confident in who you are, know your path, be honest, and it'll all work out. And then always be first and people will follow you and you will lead and you will be on the path to the success that you're destined to get in life, okay? And people will want to be around you and you will have this ambiance of a winner. And that's what, you just got to follow these steps. This is, a, this is like the core to your being. Stop lying if you're lying today and realize everything will be okay. All right, that's the broadcast for today. I hope this helps you guys in your future goals. I'll tune back in in a day or so and we'll get back to more motivation.